Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Plutonian from Rick and Morty. We're going to get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So let's start on the left side. We're going to draw a circle starting from the top and work our way back around. Now I'm going to leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the top of the eye, come down to the same height as we have on the left, and then back up towards the top. Now inside the center of the eyes we're going to draw these little cross pupils. So starting in the center here, we're going to draw a straight line going across on both sides. Now on the left side, I just want to draw a slight curve going out towards the left and then down. And on the right, we'll go out towards the right and then come down. We're going to draw a ridge around the outsides of the eye. So we start up above the left eye, curving out and then back down towards the bottom. We're going to go in the opposite direction on the right side, starting from the top around and then back in. Now at the top we want to draw the inner edge of the head. So on the left side we're going to step out slightly creating a little overlap, curve up towards the top and then pull it down on the right side. Now we're going to step out a little bit further and draw another half circle around here. Stepping out, curve up towards the top and then down on the right side. Now we're going to draw four little antennas coming out from the head. So on the left side we're going to draw two angled lines side by side. And at the top we're going to connect the ends with a circle. Let's do the opposite on the right side. So lining up the base, go up to the same length, two straight lines, and then we'll circle around connecting the ends. Now I'm going to draw two more on these little corners right up here. Starting from the corner of the ridge, we'll go up on the bottom, and we'll connect those two points with another circle. Do the same thing on the right side. Start from the corner of this ridge, we'll go up, draw another one right below it, and then connect them with a circle. Let's step down and draw a large smile. So we start just underneath the left eye, we'll curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. We're going to round out the side of the mouth and then come down towards the bottom part of the mouth. So we're just going to round them out. Now we're going to pull this down towards the bottom down a little bit lower, the bottom of the mouth. And then along the top we're going to add some teeth. So starting on the left side, it's just a series of little U shapes. We go all the way across. We add one more right here. Now at the bottom we're going to go in the opposite direction. Starting from the center, we'll draw one upside down U. We'll work our way towards the left three on either side. Then just on the outside edge of the mouth, we want to draw a little curve for the wrinkle of the mouth. Just curving around, almost like a little bracket on either side. Now we're going to step out just underneath the ridge of the eye, curve around towards the chin. So let's start on the left side, just around the bracket, and then we'll just pull it into right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right side, curving around the bracket, and pulling that in. Now from here we want to connect these two ends with a large oval coming down towards the bottom of the belly. So we'll start on the left side, we're going to curve out, pull it around the middle, and then we're going to curve this back up towards the right side. Now let's draw on the outer part of the body. So we're going to step out, draw that same curve going out and around in towards the neck. Do the same thing on the right, going out, pulling that in towards the neck. From here we're going to step down and draw on the sides of the body coming down towards the leg. So from this point we're going to step down, curve out the belly, and then just pull that into right about there. We're going to do the same thing on the right. So stepping down, curving out the side of the body, and then down towards the leg. Let's go back up and draw on the arms. So I'm going to have the arms coming down in fists. So from this point I want to step down, curving down and out towards the left. I'm going to round out the thumb with a little half circle and at the end of the thumb I'm going to draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb I'm going to go around the bracket and go up. I'm going to draw two more fingers along the side. So we're going to step down, curve up, step down again. Now we're going to curve around and then in towards the wrist. Now from that point I'm just going to curve up and just in towards the base of the neck. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So stepping down 
down and out towards the right to the same height as we have on the left. Draw a little half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a little bracket. And then at the bottom of the thumb, we'll swirl around the bracket and go up. We're gonna draw two more fingers on the side. So we'll step down, draw another curve going up, down again, and then we'll curve around in towards the wrist. Now we're gonna curve up towards the base of the neck. So we're gonna start the neck, curving out, and pull that down towards the wrist. Now let's move down and draw in the legs. So right at the base of the hip here, we're gonna need a little space, but I'm gonna close off the bottom. So with a little curve from left to right, going across, leaving a little bit of space. On the left side, I'm gonna step in, draw a curve coming down and out towards the left. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw the bottom of the feet. So from the heel, I'm gonna curve down and then back up towards the first toe. And I'm gonna curve up and over the foot. From this point, I'm gonna curve across and then up. Now we're gonna curve over the first toe in towards the ankle, so right there. Now from here, I just wanna curve out and in towards the hip. So start the hip, curve out and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve down, and then out. And curve over the first toe, curving in. From the tip of that toe, we're gonna curve across again. Now we're gonna go over on top and towards the ankle. Now we're gonna connect the hip to the ankle with a curve. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add the funny little fur detail on the side of the head. So we're gonna start right beside the eye, right up here. We're gonna curve up and out towards the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. So starting on the side of the eye, curve up and out towards the right. I'm gonna round out the end and then pull it back in the opposite direction. So rounding this out, curving that back in, leaving a little bit of space on the inside. Do the same thing on the right, curving it around, and then back in. We're gonna draw three of these along the side of the head. So we're gonna step in and up, curve the second one going out. So from here we're gonna step out, curving towards the second one. Now we're gonna round this out and pull this back in again. And then we'll draw one more coming down at an angle. So from that end, we're gonna step over, curve down. We're gonna round out the ends and then just pull that right up in behind the cheek. The same thing on the right side. And I just wanna separate the ends. Starting from the top, we're just gonna draw a little curve from top to bottom. We'll do this to all these little finger looking things. From left to right. And there we have it. There's the Plutonian from Rick and Morty. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.